Hey guys, today I am bringing you a list of things that you can do while audiobooking. I made a video recently talking about some of my favorite audiobooks, and I will leave a link down below to that video if you want to check it out. I highly recommend checking it out, but I also made the video, so I'm a little bit biased. Anyway, a lot of you guys in the comments of that video were like, yo, I like the idea of audiobooks, but I don't know what to do while listening to the audiobooks. And I get that. I feel you. I was on that page once, but then I flipped that page, and I figured it all out. So I thought that today I would bring you some of the things that you can do while listening to audiobooks. I said this in the last video about audiobooks and I'll say it again, I freaking love audiobooks. They're such a great way to take in stories. The two resources that I highly recommend, the first one being Audible. This video is not being sponsored by Audible. I just genuinely love Audible and I use it all the time and I highly recommend checking it out. And the second resource is Overdrive, which is one that I don't use too often, but I know that a lot of people use it and love it. It's hooked up through your library so you can just check out some audiobooks. Listen to them and return them. Simple as that. Anyways, let's talk about some of the things that you can do while listening to audiobooks. Candy Crush! This is the first thing that I ever used to help me focus on the audiobook that I was listening to. And guys, I know it's a little bit weird, but trust me, it's a method that I found worked for me. You can be a Candy Crush hater all you want, but mix it with an audiobook and it's genius. It's a semi-mindless activity that you can do while listening to an audiobook. And it's a great way to keep you focused on the story that you're listening to. Also, it's a lot of fun, because I like Candy Crush and it's a lot of fun playing it. So if you're like me and you enjoy playing Candy Crush, then it's a win-win situation. You get to listen to a book and play a fun game. Win-win. Also, if you don't know what Candy Crush is, it's a game. Google it. Next up is one that a lot of you guys might be turned off by because I used to be like, no thanks, but now I'm like, yes please, and that is puzzles. I used to think doing puzzles was like the most boring thing in the world, but now I am a puzzle master. Actually, that's a lie because it takes me forever to finish puzzles. But here's the thing, sometimes it takes forever to finish a puzzle, and sometimes it takes forever to listen to an audiobook. Well, bam, put the two together, you're listening to a book, you're doing a puzzle, again with the win-win situation here. This has honestly become my favorite method to listening to audiobook, mostly because I have turned into a puzzle lover. Next up, we've got coloring, which is something that I'm new to. That made it sound like I've never colored before. I colored, guys. But this, like, whole adult coloring book world is so new to me. But I've done it a few times now while listening to audiobooks, and it freaking works. It helps me focus on the story, helps me take in the story that I'm listening to, and it's also a weirdly relaxing experience. I definitely didn't expect that, but 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> Next on the list is driving. Sometimes this definitely isn't the most ideal situation because there could be a plot twist that just comes out of nowhere and next thing you know you're swerving your car into a ditch because you're just completely shocked as to what just happened in the book and then the next thing you know you're completely shocked because you just wrecked your car. But other than that I find that it's a great place to listen to audiobooks. Especially when you've got a rather long commute. I'll be real with you guys though, I don't listen to audiobooks while driving that often because that's usually where I jam out to music yo. But it's a good option to consider. I know that my Aunt Lisa listens to audiobooks while driving and she loves it. Shout out to my Aunt Lisa! <laughs> Next up, we've got cleaning. This is definitely a method that I don't use very often. If only you guys could see my room right now, but all you get to see is this beautiful bookshelf. And I think you might be okay with the scenery behind me. <laughs> This next one kind of goes along with cleaning, and that is reorganizing your bookshelf. Again, this is not a method that I use very often. I should probably start doing it more often, because my bookshelves are in a constant state of chaos. I do really like listening to audiobooks while I am reorganizing my bookshelf, though, because it's like you're playing a bookish version of Tetris. And instead of there being background music or sound effects, it's just an audiobook in the background. It's perfect. Now I kind of want there to be a bookish version of Tetris. <laughs> Next on my list is exercising. Now I'm not talking hardcore parkour, P90X madness. I'm literally just talking about taking a walk. I use this method a lot. I love going on walks and I love being surrounded by nature and taking in stories with my ears. Again, this is another one where I just find it to be weirdly relaxing, unless you're reading like a high energy action packed story. And also if it's blazing hot outside, then it's not gonna be very relaxing. It's gonna be sweaty and gross, but it's nice to be outside doing some good for your body and listening to a great story. 
This last tip I have for you is a really simple tip, but it's also one that I value a lot, and that is simply just getting a physical copy of the audiobook that you're listening to and reading along. I've found that this can just be a wonderful experience because you are fully immersing yourself in the story. You're taking the story in with your eyeballs, and you're taking it in with your ears. I've done this quite a few times, and it's really helpful just like completely following along with the story and not missing anything. I know that a main concern here is that the narrator might read at a different speed than you, but if you're using Audible, which is what I mostly use, then you have an option to where you can speed up the narrator or slow the narrator down. So definitely keep that in mind. You are in complete control of that narrator. So those are just some tips that I have for audiobooking. Let me know if you found any of these tips helpful. Also, if you have any tips of your own, be sure to leave them down below. Let's help each other out here. And lastly, if you have any audiobook recommendations, hit me up in the comments. I would love to hear some recommendations. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, choo. Um, I started because it got to a point where I would have to tell my mom the entire plot of a book so that I could then discuss my feelings on that book.